are you looking at? Hey. What are you looking at? Hello everyone, I'm Chewy, and this is your random card of the day. Let's go to Gatherer. Gatherer says, view card, random card, view card. What do we got, what do we got? Terramorphic Expanse. It was bound to happen one of these days. Well, at least this video will be kind of short. So, Terramorphic Expanse is a land. It's a common. Good lord, look at all these printings. The original printing was Time Spiral. So what is it? It's a fetch land. It's not that kind of fetch land. No. Did you like how I was dancing with the mouse? Terramorphic Expanse. It's very simple. Common land, it says. Tap and sacrifice Terramorphic Expanse. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Shuffle. This thing is everywhere because it's so useful and simple and ubiquitous. It doesn't make mana itself. It's really the only problem. I mean, if you can call that a problem. It was reprinted as... Anybody remember the functional reprint? I want to shout it out. I can't hear you. This was recorded a long time ago. What's wrong with you people? Evolving Wilds. Ah. So you know what? I'm just going to put these two together. So Evolving Wilds is exactly the same thing. Its original printing was in Rise of the Eldrazi. But again, it's it's such a useful and ubiquitous ability. Go get a land. Put it on the battlefield. Brr. That's it. Dancing with the mouse again. Sorry. So who likes this? Everybody likes this. Nobody doesn't like a fetch land, especially not when it's virtually free. You don't have to pay a life. You don't have to pay any $30, $40, or $50, or whatever the hell they are now. And you don't have to... Of course, the, the downside is they don't make mana themselves, and your basic land comes into play tapped, so it sets you behind. So it's not acceleration, it's fixing. It's actually deceleration. And there's always the argument for deck thinning. No. And there's also the argument for uh, splashing. Splashing is great. Uh, I use this a lot in sealed and draft and whatnot. The more expanses and evolving wilds you have, then the easier it is to splash something. So let's see, Spike. Spike actually doesn't like these so much because Spike has better options. But if there aren't any better options, then Spike loves it because, again, it's fixing. And there's nothing Spike hates worse than losing to color screw. Let's see, Aggro, Aggro actually doesn't like this at all. Aggro wants a land to be able to drop and tap for mana so that he can then play something to hurt you. Mm. So maybe Aggro doesn't like it so much. Control likes it because Control wants all, all the mana, put the mouse down, wants all the mana all the time to be able to cast every spell that it wants to. Control's probably fine with it. Combo, I guess Jank Combo loves it because it's gets him that fourth color. <laughs> Commander? I mean, I play with... I don't actually know if I have any of these... <clears throat> either of these in any of my commander decks off the top of my head. So, hmm, I don't know. But uh, for budget commander, it's great. Because you don't, you don't need to spend money on the high dollar dual lands or the high dollar fetch lands or any of that. You can just... I need to go get this land. Hurt, hurt. Oh, there we go. I'm sure it's perfectly serviceable for Commander. Limited loves these things, like I said before, for splashing and fixing and making sure you have exactly the colors you need. Limited, they think they're great. Constructed, again, there's probably better choices for most serious constructed decks, but I know that my 60 card casual decks play a bunch of these because they're just useful and they're budget friendly. So, depending on what manner of constructed you're talking about, yeah. Timmy. I don't think Timmy cares. This this does not create an experience. And it's not awesome. It's just useful. So I think Timmy's indifferent. Like Timmy will play it because he has to. Hmm. Johnny. Same thing. Unless Johnny's doing some like crazy landfall stuff. Oh god. Yeah. Yeah. It was. Whew. Evolving wilds with landfall. That's just sick. Some of the bigger ones, the the beast that makes you a beast, I forget what he's called. Rampaging Balots? Yeah, you play uh, Evolving Wilds, sacrifice it, get another land, that's two beasts that you just uh, got. That's pretty good. Um, Nixilus was all about some fetches too, mm -hmm. or some whatever these are called. You can't say fetches, because that, 
that ring conjures up a very specific uh, image, so yeah, you know, we'll just call them Expanse, because that's what we call them. Melvin and Vorthos, nah, these, these don't, like, Melvin loves them because these are pure functionality. Any flavor that they've tried to put on these is just because they have to. Nah. This is this is totally Vorthos going, whatever, man. <laughs> we all need to play them. We're all going to play them. Call it Terramorphic Expanse. And the other uh, Vorthos guy's like, what about the other one? We'll call it Evolving Wilds because the land is evolving. Shut up. Whatever. We just need it. Just call it whatever you want. We don't care. Whereas Melvin is like, this is great! Yeah, Melvin had a nerd gammon. He really did. Uh, Moto, whatever, same as uh, Timmy. He's like, whatever, I, I gotta have it. If the deck needs it, then I'm gonna put him in, and if not, I'm not. So, whatever. Playing online, no difference. The art, I didn't even look at the art on these. Whoops. Terramorphic Expanse. Now, remind you, this was first printed in Time Spiral. Whatever, man. I don't know. It's, uh... There's like water and swamp and plains and forests and some mountainy things with lightning and it's the different land types coming together in the cluster mess that was time spiral, whatever. Again, flavor is sort of pointless on these, but for what it is, it's pretty cool. You know, never actually paid that much attention to the art on Terramorphic Expanse before, so hmm. it's cool, I guess. How about Evolving Wilds? Evolving Wilds was first printed in Rise of the Eldrazi, which is where the Eldrazi were coming back, or did come back. The big hedrons were floating around and breaking open and whatnot. I don't know. And some of the gravity in Zendikar was sort of, ha ha, ha ha. People don't think the universe be like it is, but it do. So Evolving Wilds is the big trees. They're sort of ripping apart, like. I don't know. Again, whatever. It's fine. I'm pretty sure the only reason that they have art on them is because they, it's sort of a requirement for a magic card. Otherwise, they'd have just written, go get a land, stupid, and been done with it. So, whatever. The art, and much like the flavor on these, is sort of incidental. So, so anyway, there you go. I might have lied when I said at least this one will be short. <laughs> but, whatever. They're great cards. And, like I said, for the those of us that are broke and not able to afford the big stuff for our casual decks, they're they're perfect. In a, in a multiplayer game especially, having not having a land come into play untapped because of it is... it's not as big a deal because if you're a turn behind, it's okay because each person has that many other people to worry about. Whereas in a duel, if you're a turn behind and your opponent's not, then you're kind of screwed. All right, well, this has been another random card of the day. Be sure to like and subscribe, and give me some comments. Let me know what you think. And head on over to themanapool.com to see this and all the other Manapool stuff that we do. The podcast, the peculiar, peculiar, all that stuff that goes on on the website. But yeah, this has been your random card of the day. Thank you all very much for watching, and uh, go play some Magic. But it'll be so big that no one will be able to handle it. Arr. Johnny likes this card. You'll have to forgive me. I don't actually know any of the tricks with worm calling, but I know there are things you can do to just go worm, 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 worm. I just, my brain doesn't work that way. I'm very sorry. Timmy likes it. Hard in the face is good for me. Don't take that the wrong way. And another secret. Could you quit? Or both. Undertaker, you got nerfed.